For those living with heart failure, there's a common fear that your heart will stop beating and you might not wake up one day. That's how Teresa Manning felt for nearly 20 years before Dr. Richard Keel of the Heart Failure Program at Community Regional Medical Center introduced CardioMEMS, a wireless monitor that's been proven to significantly reduce heart failure hospitalizations and improve quality of life. You know, for a long time we've had sort of a, a lot of difficulty with being able to really closely follow these heart failure patients. Um, I mean, with a lot of these patients really maintaining a very narrow uh, window of basically their volume level. Um, they retain too much fluid and they're in heart failure. What CardioMEMS offers us is a really kind of an exciting treatment. We're able to basically implant a pulmonary artery pressure sensor and it's a, it's a very simple, very elegant solution. It's a, a loop of metal and a piece of plastic. It's about the size of a dime and it gets placed into one of the arteries of the lungs, usually the, you know, the, uh, I guess, left middle pulmonary artery. The CardioMEM system is the first and only FDA-approved wireless heart failure monitor. Community Regional implemented the technology in 2019, and Dr. Keel says studies have found that patients are overall living longer and healthier lives due to the fact that they're able to read pressure measurements from the patient's body without the patient having to come in for a doctor visit. Which to me is kind of one of the most important things, is that they're no longer sort of chained to a doctor's office you know, in and out on a, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Basis, they're able to now you know, have this monitoring at home and then come in and see me just every you know, one, two, or three months sometimes. So it's kind of a cool way to give them back some quality of life. Teresa Manning was one of Dr. Keel's first patients. Her heart failure condition put her in and out of hospitals since she was 18 years old. Dr. Keel says Teresa doesn't show a lot of symptoms leading up to hospitalization, but with the CardioMEMS implant, the system can catch symptoms early to prevent an event from happening, and Dr. Keel hopes they found a long-term solution to Teresa's problem. My life before the CardioMEMS was a whirlwind because I was always worried. I was always scared. What if I don't wake up? How would Dr. Kill know if I'm okay? Like, how would he know if the sickness is getting worse or if it's getting better? Like, how would he know that? And so now, fast forward to having the cardio mems, he can see it. He can check on me. And I'm thankful to that. I don't have to worry about freaking out, like, am I going to wake up in the morning time? Is the medicine working? They can see it. They can see the pressure of my heart they can see the pressure in my arteries. So that's what the good thing is about having the cardio mems. In order for the system to work properly, Teresa must be consistent in her daily routine. Every day when Teresa wakes up, she lays down on an electronic pillow that's paired with a cardio mems device so it can go to work and monitor her body's health values. The reading is then sent to Dr. Keel and staff to make sure Teresa is in a healthy state. The pillow has a speaker in it. The speaker basically transmits a, you know, an ultrasound signal that bounces off that little metal ring. It vibrates back, and depending on the blood pressures in the lungs, the frequency that it vibrates back changes. And we're actually able to measure in real time at the patient's home what the pressures in their lungs are doing. The cardio mem system requires no batteries and shouldn't need replacing. The procedure itself takes less than an hour to implant, but is designed to be a forever treatment. It's expected that Teresa will use cardio mems for the rest of her life. It's been a long journey, but I'm, I'm taking it one day at a time, and Dr. Kill is an amazing cardiologist, and I'm very grateful and thankful to still be here. And it gets tough, but I'm still here.